Hello, here's a tutorial to teach you how to draw Itachi from Naruto. First, I'll show you how to break it down into simple shapes, then we'll go into detail. In the last part of the video, I offer you a time lapse of the inking process. Here we go. Step 1. We start with a circle for the head. A curved line will divide the sphere in two. Then we'll define the eye area with two horizontal curved lines. A long line will start from the bottom right of the circle, which will form a very slight S and which will be Itachi's spine. Draw the shoulder line with one circle at each end for the shoulders. And do the same for the pelvis line with circles to represent the hips. We're going to connect all this to materialize the body. Now we'll make the arms, a small circle in the middle to represent the elbow joint, then the legs, same thing, a small circle in the middle for the knees. That's it for step one, we've got the skeleton with a few and simple shapes. Feel free to pause to complete your drawing. Step two, we'll now enhance these simple shapes, the arms, legs, little feet, We'll now enhance the head. We'll sculpt the left side of the face. Lengthen the skull. Extending from the chin to the right side to complete the jawline. We'll flatten the right side of the head a little to give the skull its final shape. Then place the ears and the neck. Step two is complete, but before moving on to step three, we'll smooth out our lines with the kneaded eraser. Step three, we detail our drawing base in pencil. We start by tracing the contours of the face, ears included. The eyes a little below the middle of the face. The eyebrows on either side. The little nose, because it's Itachi Chibi. The mouth. Underneath is a small line for the bottom of the lip. Small lines between eyebrows and eyes for the inside. and the marks under the eyes and cheeks 
emblematic of Itachi. Now a large curved line to make the bottom of the headband then part of the plate. We'll start with the hair. Then once finished, we'll place the neck. We detail the left ear. Then make the crossed out Kanoa emblem. I retrace the upper part of the body a little to get my bearings. Next, we'll put on his outfit. Make sure the sleeves are long, as in the manga. An important detail, I give the bottom of his outfit a rounded effect and it goes behind his legs, forming a kind of ellipse and adding depth. We make the collar from the inside of his outfit I cut off part of each shoulder to reinforce the impression that he's wearing the garment and that his body fit inside. Then the mesh. And 
finally the necklace. Here I'm erasing a minor volume error. An important aside, so that the video doesn't get too long, I cut out parts where I erase and correct, but mistakes are part of the process. So don't be afraid to erase, correct, improve. No drawing is definitive. Aside finished. Now we do the legs, then the feet. a large, slightly curved line at the bottom to put Itachi on the ground. Add a few clouds to his outfit. Add a little hair on the back of his head. And that's it, here's Chibi Itachi in pencil. Now for the last step, I'm going to ink, so I always blur my lines with kneaded eraser. Here's a time lapse of the last step. Actually, I'd like to add a sharing end to each eye. And here's the final result. Did you succeed following my tutorial? Don't hesitate to share your opinion in the comments. And don't hesitate to share this video with other drawing enthusiasts. If you're interested, I've put online a tutorial for how to draw Vegeta in chibi style. The link is on the left. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon and have a nice day. Oh, and don't forget to draw a little every day to make progress.